So, uh, yeah, I, I started my career in uh, uh, law first, and then I was working for um, various NGOs while I was paying back my college fees, and I was working for music um, festivals as well. So I was a production manager in music festivals, and then I went, uh, my um, best friend passed away uh, at one point, so I went traveling, I came back, and I was working in New York, I was working in uh, Sydney, and then I was working for a multinational um, as head of function, and I started, I was running my other half's campaign, election campaign when that happened as well and he managed to top the poll so I got involved in, with the Green Party when I ran his campaign and I started off their women's caucus which is called Monogrossa with uh, one of the ministers now Catherine Martin and a member of the European Parliament now Grace O'Sullivan and I also became a member of their uh, national executive then I became their national coordinator of the Green Party and then I became their chairperson. Yeah, I, I uh, then ran myself in 2019 and I managed to top the poll then as well. Uh, then, and uh, yeah, then I threw my name in the ring for, as Lord Mayor. And that's how I got involved. Okay, it's about, um, well, I was just saying it's about motor shift. Uh, we need more sustainable uh, uh, transport. We need to reduce carbon emissions and we need to reduce our reliance on, on cars. So uh, the best way forward is to plan for better separated cycling lane and also pedestrian walking to uh, try to reform the city. So with COVID mobility, it's actually worked quite well in terms of transforming the city and what we want for the future in terms of uh, sustainable transport. Well, I, I think it's it's uh, it, it will be very obvious in terms of like quality of life of what cycling and walking could do to your um, lifestyle in terms of health, physical health and mental health. But it's also to make a city a safer space as well in terms of making sure that there's less road accidents, that, the, that if you have segregated lanes and proper cycle infrastructure, it's also a safer way for everyone to 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 um be able to use that form of transport uh, men women families and i think that in itself transforms it into a different kind of city and lifestyle 